Hey guys, CJ here with an all new episode of Hybrid News Now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get you caught up on all the latest news around the comic book world, starting with an interesting Hulk tidbit. In an interview with Ain't It Cool News, Mark Ruffalo spilled a little bit of a secret about the future of his character, Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, in the MCU. And as we head closer and closer to Thor Ragnarok, it seems like we might be getting a side of the not-so-jolly green giant that we haven't yet seen on screen before. Banner in full control. Let's take a look at the quote. It's very subtle, but the Banner Hulk consciousness is beginning to meld a little bit. Who decided to leave? Was it Banner or Hulk? It's not really in the cinematic mythology of Hulk up until that moment to be that conscious and proactive. It's interesting, right? It's an interesting development because we saw Dr. Banner fully lose control of the Hulk in Avengers Age of Ultron, but if you'll remember, the last time we saw the big green guy, he displayed an interesting amount of intelligence and awareness, hijacking the Quinjet and disabling its communications before flying off into parts unknown. For more though, we'll probably have to wait until we get a little closer to Thor Ragnarok's July 2017 release date. On to the next story of the day, Sony's animated Spider-Man feature, helmed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller of the Lego Movie and 21 Jump Street, has been pushed back from its original release slot. The film, which was originally scheduled to come out in June of 2018, has officially been pushed back to December 21st later that year. While I'm still excited to see that, it's worth remembering that this would exist independently from Marvel's MCU Spider-Man or any other Spider-Man project that Sony has planned. With that said, what are the odds that this animated movie then pivots to a better animated series like Clone Wars did back in 2008? It's definitely something that I'm going to watch and be hoping for. And to round out our news day, Kurt Russell has finally addressed the swirling rumors tying him to Guardians of the Galaxy 2. The comments came as he was promoting his new movie, Hateful Late, on the Wolf Pop Happy Sad Confused podcast. And, well, he was actually pretty open regarding the possibility. Let's take a look at the quotes. I literally got a phone call two days ago about this. I've never seen Guardians of the Galaxy, so I don't know anything about it. Many times I've heard that's a really fun movie, a really good movie with great characters. I don't know it, so I didn't realize that James Gunn had written and directed it, but we talked to each other on the phone. And I just had to be honest and say thank you for considering me. I have to read the script and I have to watch the first movie because I can't bring anything for you right now. I've got nothing to offer here. So I'm amazed to get asked about this because everybody knows more about it than I do. It's a little weird. So he definitely is in talks with Marvel about the role, to say the least. However, Russell did go on to clarify that there was nothing official to announce yet regarding the role. For his own good and his future with the company, Anthony Mackie really might want to clue Kurt in about the snipers that Marvel has running around. So that wraps it up for today's HNN. Let me know your thoughts about all of today's news in the comments below. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you tomorrow.